Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Bones and Gills. There's something fishy in the basement tonight. You might say I'm waiting with bated breath. This ought to tip the scales. Hmm, looks like they're not biting, but you will be. Nail biting, that is. Here's a little nibble about tonight's story. A lurid tale guaranteed to hook your attention. I call it Gone Fishing. Your mama, fish. He ain't going anywhere, right, kid? Did you know they found a fish at the bottom of the marina's trench, seven miles below the surface? That's the problem with you, Randy. Uncle Ned. You always got your nose stuffed in a book. It's time you learned what life was all about. By fishing. It ain't just fishing. It's man against nature, survival of the fittest. It's showing these bug-eyed slime buckets who's boss. Ah! Quit being so squeamish. Go on, take the hook out. But it's kind of small. Why don't we just throw it back and... Leave the squirming to them. It's time you graduated from WIMP school. <laughs> You'll be doing this before the week's out. Get rid of the garbage. We're going in. I said, get rid of it. Aren't you going a little fast, Uncle? Uncle Ned! You almost hit them. They don't call them sitting ducks for nothing. <laughs> This is an awful lot of fish. Once I caught near to a hundred in a little over an hour. Most were small, but what the heck. And you ate them all? Ate? Are you kidding? Then what do you do with them? Same thing I'm gonna do with these. You can't just leave them. What's a pile of fish guts? to throw them back. What for? So we can spend tomorrow catching the same ones again? They're only fish, Randy. You're talking like they're human or something. Well, who knows? Maybe way down deep, the fish have a world just like ours. That's just your problem. You read too much, kid. You're too busy imagining things to see the facts of life. If you bite the hook, you pay the price. That's what fishing's all about. I don't call that fishing. You'll learn. Now, get some rest. We're up at the crack of dawn. Tomorrow, I'll let you use my special lure. I call it the Ripper. That sounds mean. Go to sleep. And no reading. One of the most peculiar species is the South American talking catfish, which growls when removed from the water. Wow! Uncle Ned? Uncle Ned?
So how are they biting? Never better. I must have left 50 bass on the beach yesterday. On the beach? Something wrong with that? Even the best fishermen never take more than they can eat. You got your way, I got mine. I had a weird dream last night. Yeah, a six-foot catfish in pajamas. Do you believe it? I think it was trying to tell me something. Maybe it was. The old ones say nature speaks in many voices. The wind rustling in the trees, the echo of ice shifting on the frozen lake, the sound of thunder. Now, don't go filling his head with fool ideas. He's got too many of those already. Ouch! Get the hook out, quick! Over here. Hold still. Yeah! Will that be cash? 